Hello everyone and welcome to this campus executive. I'm here with the French Civil Aviation University, known as ENAC for French people. We're here to talk about a very specific online executive advanced master in airline management. In order to talk about it, I have the pleasure to welcome the vice president of ENAC himself, Nicolas Cazalis, the course director of this advanced master, Michael Benhamed, and one of the current students, Alice Laplanche from Luxembourg. The, the three of them are here to answer all of my questions, but first we're going to start with the corporate speech. So the corporate speech, Nicolas, basically introduces to this executive online mas advanced master. Okay. So um, the creation of this executive uh, advanced master in airline management is a result of a uh, paradox. On the one hand, um, the aviation industry is facing a very strong demand in uh, a very strong demand for uh, skilled professional, qualified professional, and qualified manager, and so uh, all around the world. On the other hand, uh, the sector, the aviation sector, is also facing um, envir environmental concerns. And um, INAC, uh, the leading um, European aviation university, has uh, designed this, uh, this program uh, to, uh, to help the professional of the sector to meet these uh, challenges. And uh, this program will um, give the professional and uh, the student a uh, 360 degree vision of the aviation of tomorrow uh, with a multidisciplinary approach mixing strategic disciplines and also um, operational disciplines. And the aim, of course, is to help uh, and to um, enable the professional of the sector to take on more responsibility uh, in the aviation industry and to boost their career. Uh, this program uh, has been uh, designed specifically uh, for professionals uh, already working in the sector or for professionals uh, wishing to join the sector. And it is, uh, it is delivered fully online and it is an international program, uh, meaning that um, the majority of the students are coming from all over the world, uh, mainly, uh, mainly Europe, Asia and Africa. All right, thank you very much. Mikhail, as a course director, wouldn't you say that an MBA is said to be better than an advanced master? That's a good question. <laughs> well, thank you. It's first one. And maybe that Alice could uh, uh, give an answer. All right, so yeah. Alice, may, maybe, did you ask yourself, should I go for an MBA or for an advanced master, and what made you choose the advanced master? Yes, yeah, that's actually a question I, I asked myself at the beginning uh, when I was looking to expand my, my training and education. Uh, I started looking into MBAs, uh, and then I realized that they were very business oriented, very generic. And I was a bit frustrated not to find something very dedicated to an airline. And then, of course, I remembered uh, that ENAC had some very distinguished and reputed programs. So I was looking for, uh, for what they could offer. And that is when I stumbled upon the executive um, master in airline management. And the fact that it offered uh, such a wide variety of topics, but specifically dedicated to airline, that was really a deciding factor for me to, to apply for this program and to completely uh, abandon the idea of an MBA. We mentioned that it's an online program. As a student, do you have like any different student experience from your previous students' experience? Uh, as I said, it's like, since it's online, what is, very, what is different from your student point of view? This is my first experience in uh, education uh, online. Um, but I have to say it's been very well organized so far uh, in terms of practical details. Um, I would say at first, of course, you have reservations because we know that human contact, in-person contact is very important. Uh, however, since we've started this, this master now since September, um, the experience has been very positive and sometimes you even forget that you're online uh, because of the quality of the professors and the lecturers who make you feel very much um, comfortable and they're approachable and also the, the group dynamic is very, very good. So you, you really forget that you're online for a second. Is online training equal to self-training? Actually, um, uh, by online training, we mean um, a combination of courses that are synchronous, but also uh, case studies, project, um, 
asynchronous learning sometimes, but the combination of these uh, activities plus the experience of the lecturers that are used to delivering this kind of content this way make, you know, the, um, the program quite um, um, Fin, creating cr strong relationship between the students and the lecturers, and as said uh, Alice, between the students themselves with good group dynamic. So this is different than self-training, uh, typically. Uh, this is really uh, um, this online training try to propose, um, as far as this is possible, a similar approach than if we were in class. Nicholas, you mentioned that there was no need for any specific background. Uh, you could be, I don't know, you could have any kind of academic background. Does it mean that I don't need any specific regarding, I don't, know, I don't need to be a scientist or having scientific backgrounds? I don't need to have an, an engineering background either? Are we sure about that? <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, um, INAC is a grande école, it's an engineering school uh, in France, so uh, the majority of our students uh, have um, has a, a scientific background. And this is, I would say, a scientific background is a plus. Uh, nevertheless, for such a, for such a program as the Advanced Master in Airline Management, uh, it's not uh, it's not compulsory to have this uh, this uh, uh, scientific background. Uh, the majority of the students will have this uh, this uh, this scientific background, but you can have other other students coming from another sector uh, who are really interested uh, to join the aviation. And uh, depending on your motivation, on your background, that this is an executive program, and your professional background, uh, then the jury can uh, can accept you and uh, can accept you uh, to join the court. All right, I'm going to check on that. Alice, what was your academic background? What did you do before applying? I am actually a lawyer by education, so nothing to do with aviation at the beginning. And uh, I have to say that was a bit of a of a, of a fear that I had at the beginning thinking that maybe I was not qualifying on the technical side, uh, having only had so far uh, legal and compliance experience in aviation. But uh, the jury was, uh, as Nicola explained, uh, very open to different profiles, selected mine, and I was very honored to be admitted. And as soon as I started the course, I was, I was reassured that absolutely the, the backgrounds were very very wide and very different, which I believe makes also for, for the high quality of the class that we currently have. Uh, exchanging with people who have different background, experience uh, and aspirations, that really makes a difference for our program. And um, what, uh, which abilities are specific to take on the management, uh, managerial, sorry, sorry, managerial functions in the aviation sector? During this interview that Alice mentioned, you're going to try and see if the students have the abilities to take on managerial function in the aviation sector. What are those abilities, Nicolas? Um, um, I think, uh, first of all, uh, what is paramount in aviation is safety. And to, uh, to ensure uh, safety in aviation, you have to be, uh, humility is very, uh, is very important. You have, to, uh, um, uh, you have to be able to accept that uh, you cannot know everything and you, can, uh, you must accept that uh, to rely on other people and so this is, this is very important to, uh, to have this, um, I would say, this team, this team spirit, uh, to be able to rely on people but on the other, uh, on the other hand to be able to, to control and to check everything, to be very, very precise. So uh, I would say you need a team spirit, you need to be uh, precise. Uh, you need to uh, to know that safety is paramount, and uh, that you cannot uh, make any compromise with uh, with safety. Uh, well, and and then I would say, like in uh, any sectors, we have many many different people with uh, many different backgrounds, and so I think diversity is something very very important. And one last question regarding the admissions for those who know nothing about the investment industry, like like you before you applied, obviously, because now you know everything about it. Uh, which advice could you give? How, like for someone watching who has or is having the same fear as you do, is listening to what you're saying, is like, yeah, well, I mean, it's just Addis talking. What concrete advice could you give them? Never hesitate to try your luck. Um, it might seem a bit intimidating because, of course, this is a very serious program with very well structured, but actually, if you have a good motivation and you have a project that makes sense, 
don't hesitate. Uh, you can only fail if you try, but if you fail, it's not it's not a problem. And I'm pretty sure that if you build your case in the very good way, and you have the correct motivation, it should be it should be very straightforward. It's like the famous philosopher Michael Jordan who said, uh, "You miss all the shot you don't take." Obviously, yes. obviously. Uh, <laughs> Michael, which course is specific to the airline management that you don't find in any other kind of management? In fact, to, to, to better manage an activity within an airline, we strongly believe that having a good understanding of all the disciplines, uh, Nicolas has highlighted the multidisciplinary approach. I strongly believe this is a, a valuable asset in this program. Combined, so operational disciplines combined with other disciplines such as understanding the airline formation system, having good knowledge about business continuity, these kind of things that are very strategic, but in the same time very operational. How we really implement um, uh, and adapt the organization to be better resilient. So this is uh, part of operational responsibility, but also very strategic for the organization. So this is the way we are between, as said Alice, I would say MBA and a traditional advanced master, uh, being uh, going very deeply uh, in some uh, um, corporate management skills, uh, organization um, uh, management uh, skills, uh, as I said, um, because the recent uh, situation of aviation with the uh, sanitary crisis shows that being resilient is very important for any organization, in particular for airlines. So this is uh, the purpose of this program, to cover operational disciplines, but not only, and uh, as I said, some uh, um, strategic disciplines in terms of management. I could talk about finance, I could talk about marketing, etc. revenue management, how can we better, I would say, increase revenue, decrease cost, increasing uh, resilience, you know, this is a uh, multiple uh, axes that are covered in this program. So it's about maintaining revenue and having a more sustainable aviation. Yeah. You mentioned that during corporate speech. How do you teach your students to create a more sustainable aviation? Yeah, this is, I would say this is a, this is a huge challenge, perhaps one of the biggest challenge for aviation in the, in the next years. Uh, so. First of all, uh, we have knowledge. We have to have knowledge the problem and uh, to have figures to uh, to know what is the impact of aviation, and uh, then imagine what are what are the solutions. And uh, in this in this program, we will uh, we will teach the and we teach the the student what kind of solution can be uh, can be possible, uh, and uh, and. This, this solution can be technical, that, that can be operational, managerial solutions. And, um, and I would say the sustainability is really at the heart of the teaching of this program. And since the beginning, uh, since the first module to the last module, uh, we will talk about, uh, about sustainability. Uh, sp speaking about uh, flight operation, we will speak about, uh, about uh, sustainability. Speaking about uh, revenue management, we will also speak about uh, sustainability. And the idea is really at the center of this, uh, of this program. The idea of sustainability is uh, of creating a more sustainable aviation is really, uh, I would say, one of the main target of this of this program. So sustainability is at the roots of every course. Is. You yeah. start with sustainability and then you try and find and to think about it regarding sustainability always. Yeah. All right, that makes sense. Now it's about to talk about expert question. We kind of mentioned that, Nicholas. Uh, could be either of you, actually. I'm going to ask the question to any of you who wants to answer it. Um, the online courses, well, we wonder, they could, could they be as effective as, uh, I would say, face-to-face -face courses? At least kind of answer that. I even forget that I'm, I'm online. However, when it comes to the employer, do you have the same legitimacy as you would have if you had a face-to-face -face courses? Because it's like, oh, it's an online master. Are the employer thinking, well, then it's not a real master? In fact, uh, this is an executive master uh, because we consider the... Um, all the participants are very busy. This is why this program is organized mainly during the weekend. Um, in order to allow people coming from different areas in the world, an online program is the most adapted, uh, obviously. Um, but what we do, 
uh, we have already explained before that um, uh, we deliver some contents in synchronous mode in order to um, f to allow strong relationship between the, the, the professors and the students, etc. But also, I would say, by um, uh, uh, combining with, um, as we have explained also before, some activities that allows, uh, you know, to work uh, uh, b between students together, etc. So, uh, for my opinion, and we do our best in order to to maximize the benefit of this program for people being obviously uh, online. And, and do the company agree with you? Mm. The companies in the aviation sector, they know INAC. And uh, they know that if we provide such, such, a, such a program, such a, an online program, that we, uh, we are sure that the quality of the program is the quality of the other program of INAC. So this is the first point. And perhaps the second point, perhaps even more important. I think the, the quality of a, of a school, of a, of a university, uh, rely on the quality of its students. And in that case, the students are trainees, uh, are, are professionals, uh, they are working. And I would say the, the best image that you can uh, give uh, through a program is the, the image of the student you have as a trainees. And uh, I'm sure that the students, the actual students, the actual professionals that are following this, uh, this program, uh, are very good professional in their uh, in their uh, in their company, and this is very good for the image of the for the image of the program, and this is really a proof that the this kind of program is uh, is really adapted, and it is a really uh, advanced master like uh, on site uh, advanced master. Alice, how did you balance all of those lives that you have? You have like personal life, students' life, uh, your professional life. Since it's an executive master, I guess you have to face like three different lives, how do you combine all of those, even though if it's online, you still have to work? Yes, that's correct. Uh, however, I believe that when you have a very strong will to complete a program, you just find the time and the energy to, to dedicate to, to the sessions. I also have to say that ENAC makes it very easy. Uh, the online platform is a very good tool to, to organize all this and to have a very fluid learning experience. Um, also, the availability of uh, the course director, all the people involved in managing the program, that makes it very easy. And, and of course, if you're motivated, you make it happen. But uh, ENAC helps to make it easier. Other than airline management, which skills have you developed through this master? I would say, maybe broadening my horizons. Uh, one of the reasons I wanted to, to enter such a program was to gain a higher level of understanding of how an airline works and how aviation is organized in general. Uh, I spent seven years now in my current role and I wanted to, to really get this heightened learning experience. So it really helped me to to get a bit above and beyond uh, to understand how everything works. Uh, also, of course, with the current class we have so many different profiles, there's a lot to learn from everybody. There's a lot to learn from uh, the lecturers and the professors. So it's a very stimulating environment and it's, uh, it helps to boost the motivation. And as I said a bit earlier, it gives you the energy to, 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 keep, on, to keep on going. And how has it changed your career? We're talking about like a, a career boost and how it's going to help you um, develop and help you in your professional life. I mean, mainly, mm -hmm. I would say. Uh, what kind of change have you noticed or what kind of change will you notice in the near future? What I have noticed so far is that I am now able to have very interesting conversations with all my colleagues around the organization because I've been studying and working on the topics they are working on which were not naturally my, my scope. Uh, so that already helps to, to develop and broaden the horizons. And my long-term goal is to take my career to the next level by accessing potential executive roles. And I'm doing this with the support of my, of my company, which is also a very positive aspect. Maybe you can tell us what you're doing now so we understand what your mm -hmm. starting point is and where exactly you want to land. If I can 
for the pen. <laughs> of course. Um, so as I mentioned, I'm, I'm a lawyer by education. And for the past seven years, I've been working in the compliance department of a cargo airline based in Luxembourg. And I am focusing on a very specific area, which is called export controls. Uh, we look into embargo sanctions, uh, export controlled commodities, just to make sure that the activities of the company are in line with the regulations that apply in that, in that matter. Right, thank you. It helps us understand what, like the, what was Nicholas saying when he says like our students are the image of, of the program. Um, a question for you, Nicholas. We talked about ENAC and how um, the aviation companies uh, know that if a program comes from ENAC, it's a good program. Why is that? What makes ENAC unique? <laughs> ENAC is unique because it is uh, surely the uh, only university in, uh, in the world uh, that train and educate uh, students for all the stakeholders, all the players of the aviation uh, and the air transport industry. Uh, we train and we educate people for airlines, for uh, airports, for um, uh, authorities, uh, civil aviation authorities, for aircraft manufacturers, for aircraft uh, suppliers, also for air navigation service providers. So we, we train people for all the uh, all all the stakeholders, and and we have a, we have a, a long experiment, a uh, long experience. Sorry, uh, um, more than seventy five uh, years of experience. Uh, we are uh, in the art of the aviation ecosystem in France. Uh, we are in Toulouse. Our main campus is in Toulouse. You know, Toulouse is the European capital for aviation. Is I would say now, uh, it's e even the world capital of uh, of aviation. And we are very close to to the industry, to the other uh, other research lab on, on aviation. And um, I think this is this is really uh, really important for the image of of the uh, And I will add also the alumni are really important. As I say, the quality of the student uh, shows, a, uh, shows the quality of the, of the school, of the university. And we have uh, a great number of alumni, uh, 20, uh, 28,000 uh, alumni, working all over the world in different, uh, different companies, with executive position in different companies, also in international institutions like uh, ICAO, International Civil Aviation Organization, or uh, Airline International Airline Association, uh, or this kind of institution, this kind of uh, big, big company, like big airlines, of course, all over the world. And I think this, uh, this network of alumni is really a proof uh, and something that will help our students to uh, to show uh, to show their talent and uh, and to get uh, to get a uh, very interesting position in the in the industry. I would say twenty eight thousand alumni. I think it's the number I have in mind. How active is the alumni course? Because we have twenty eight thousand, all right. But what do they do for each other concretely? We have, um, you know, uh, we are part of the French Civil Aviation Authority, so maybe around ten thousand. Uh, work or have worked for the French uh, Civil Aviation Authority and all the other work everywhere in the world uh, for institutions, for airlines. Most of people, because we have 70, uh, 75 years of experience, but in the same time, uh, the activity has increased a lot during the last uh, decade. That means most of people are still working. And we obviously, we have people retired, but most of people are still active. Huh? So, so, so we have. Um, uh, executive working in, uh, as I said, Nicola, in airports, airline institutions uh, in Asia, Africa, um, Europe, of course, large companies such as Airbus. Yeah. So, so no stress, you will find work after this advanced master's, is that what you're saying, basically? Exactly, and uh, you know, um, uh, alumni, uh, uh, they are the, the brand of INAC everywhere in their organization and the reputation as, uh, of INAC is really uh, based on the successful career of all these alumni everywhere in, uh, in their organization. And this uh, advanced master aims at continuing to educate people uh, for some strategic position um, in do this case for airline. Do you have any concrete example? We've heard Alice saying about how she expects her career to be yes, boosted. We, we have a, a head of cargo in uh, an airline in Middle East. We have a, a senior VP in flight operations, in, uh, in, uh, in finance, uh, 
in um, revenue management, in, uh, in, in maintenance, obviously. Uh, so in most of the of discipline you have in an airline, in fact, you will find some alumni with top uh, executive position. Name an airline job and you will have an act there, basically. That's, 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 what, that's what it's about. Yeah. Uh, at least I know I've been insisting a lot about the fact that it's online, but I really want to make sure that people understand what it's like and that they don't feel like, well, because it's online, it's self-training or because it's online, I'm not really part of the cohort. Could you know, is there really like a cohort atmosphere, even if it's online and you're not really in an actual classroom altogether? Yes, there is absolutely a cohort uh, effect in our group. Uh, we are we are very united and also the structure of the course uh, makes it very easy. Uh, you have, of course, interventions from the lecturers and profers, professors, but you also have um, working groups where there's dedicated time for us to, to collaborate together and, and produce and, and study. So that really helps unite the, the cohort and uh, we, we actually get along very well all together, although we are all located in a different country. Um, but that doesn't, that doesn't prevent uh, the really, I would say, um, almost family spirit that is in our group. And the fact that it's online right now, uh, we're used to having a lot of social interactions online in our private life. And that also transpires more and more in the, in the personal world, in the professional world. So I would say it's, it's, not, uh, it's not a hurdle. It doesn't make it um, isolating or uh, difficult. We, we make it work very well, thanks also to, to the organization of the courses. All right, thank you for making that clear for me. Time flies, and it's already time to conclude with the last words. The last word is about concluding. Maybe adding something that hasn't been said already, maybe, I don't know, highlighting something that we've already said. It's not because it's online that it's self-training, it's not because it's an advanced master, that it's not because it's an MBA, that could be two examples that I have in mind. Or maybe anything else, like one minute to convince us to join this, airline, uh, this uh, online advanced master, sorry. Uh, Alisa, we'll let you start. What would be your conclusion? My conclusion is that working for an airline, and I believe in aviation in general, uh, you are surrounded by people who are passionate about what they do. Uh, there's a very clear unifying factor in uh, making the success of either an airline or any aviation related operator. You have a very concrete goal that everybody works towards. And that creates a very strong bond between people. And everywhere you go, when you mention you talk about aviation, people really understand that it's special. And I've seen that in my current company for the past seven years. I absolutely fell in love with the aviation world, although it was absolutely not something I was interested in previously. And having said that, uh, that very strong bond that I, that I found in my, in my airline, I found it in ENAC as well. Uh, passion is what unites everybody involved and that really transpires uh, in this program particularly, but I'm sure in any other program organized by ENAC. Thank you, Oli. Thank you very much. Michael, what would be your conclusion? Yes, um, I would c complete what said uh, Alice. Uh, uh, if you want to understand um, the atmosphere within an airline, you need to have worked within an airline. And this is because all the experts, the lecturers, have a good knowledge of airlines. I think this passion and this um, 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 exigence is, um, is uh, present uh, at any step of this program. And I would add that um, we believe that to face the challenges of uh, sustainability, climate change impact, but also to um, make some improvements to better use aircraft, to reduce uh, carbon emission and fuel budget, um, we need a multidisciplinary approach to reach all these uh, objectives. And this is what we intend to do in this program, to combine these disciplines, to make the links between these disciplines, to break the silos, and to contribute to help people that, will, uh, that follow this program to break the silos within their own company and to participate to improvement um, and to reach the targets we have to. Uh, to, to reach in, in aviation, yeah. To reach the star above the cloud, obviously. Thank yeah. you, Miguel. <laughs>
Nicolas, the last, last word. <laughs> yeah, it's the last, last word. Well, um, I would say if you join this program, you will join, uh, we join a, a family, you will join a, uh, a network of alumni all over the world uh, with, a, with a school, with a university that is very, uh, very famous all over the world in, uh, in aviation. But more than that, uh, with this program, you will learn, uh, you will have a in-depth understanding of the, of the aviation industry and the airline industry. Uh, but the basics, about safety, uh, um, I would say uh, efficiency, uh, operational efficiency. But you will have also another asset, the asset on the sustainability, how to improve the sustainability of the aviation. And this is something uh, we are a step, f uh, a step ahead in, in Europe and in France on this, on this matter. And uh, I think um, this is something that will help, that it will be a real asset in your, uh, in your career, all over the world, uh, in your career in aviation, to have this, uh, this, m this mindset and this, uh, this new, uh, I would say, this new subject and this new, uh, this new knowledge. It will be very important. So I think, yeah, this, this program is, is really a mix between uh, the traditional knowledge in aviation and also the, the knowledge of the future of aviation. All right. Well, thank you very much. Thank you, Nicola. Thank you, Mikael. Thank you, Ali. Thanks to the three of you for answering all my questions. Basically, if you want to let your career take off, I, oh, I had to do this pun. Uh, it's at the French Civil Aviation University, ENAC in France, École Nationale de l'Aviation Civile, Online Executive Advanced Master in Online Management. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you soon.